The iPad Pro, or even the latest generation iPad, as long as it's on the latest firmware update of iPad OS, these tablets are extremely powerful. And so in today's video, since we made a last year video covering some awesome newly added applications from last year, let's go ahead and make an updated video by going over some newly added apps to download and check out and install on your iPad for 2021. So the iPad of choice that I've personally been using for the last almost 10 months now is the 2020 iPad Pro, which means it has the LiDAR sensor. But no matter the iPad you're using, these applications we're gonna go ahead and cover should be fully compatible as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this year's most useful application that you can download on your very capable, powerful tablet. Let's get started. Now let's go ahead and start off this video by going over something very interesting because it looks like my iPad has a screensaver and that is because it actually does. Well, with this application I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. The app is called Flurry Screensaver and basically that's all it does. When you launch the application it just gives your device a nice lovely screensaver experience it genuinely looks like it's a real laptop which is great especially if you have the, you combo this with the magic keyboard so instead of just leaving your device on a blank black screen while it's charged and plugged into a charge wall outlet or something you always have this running and make it seem like it's a genuine laptop and yeah that's about it <laughs> now let's go ahead and get serious with some awesome applications besides appearance now, if you're a crazy note taker, you might be interested in Mule's tool for thoughts. It's a free application that gives you an oversized canvas. If you launch this application as a fine example, you are first presented with this giant canvas that allows you to put text card pretty much anywhere by tapping on the little plus icon. Here you have the ability to do text, paste, file, photos, and you create little boards as well. So if you had text, it gives you this, you could click and drag it wherever you want. If you slide over here, you could actually type it in right there, type in the box. In addition to that, this is the cool thing I like about this application so much is that if you go on Google Images, as a fine example, just copy any image that you see and you quickly multitask back to, back to the main application, you can actually paste it like this pace and there's that image no need to export it into a pdf or something like that it's basically supports everything and just automatically converts it to make it compatible on this oversized canvas that you have going on right here in addition to that you also got the popular tools down here as well like the ability to share your settings right here and there actually is support for the Apple Pencil as well, so you can actually doodle on the display if you need to. This is really great because I previously I used to rely on GoodNotes for certain stuff like this, but sometimes GoodNotes had like issues with images. This resolves this, and unlike GoodNotes, this is 100% free. And the canvas itself, as you see, it's massive. You can even add more stuff right here as well. Now, since we're in the conversation of adding images still, check out Unsplash. Unsplash is really cool because not only, again, is this a free application, but all these images, basically, basically this is an, it's an app that allows you to check out a bunch of stock images. And these are actually copyright free, which means you can actually use this for business or marketing purposes if needed. And the cool thing about this is it's an excellent, powerful tool, especially when you're looking for some awesome really good photography work images that suits the subject that you're looking for so like it's something casual like a workflow experience or something real estate related or a car you could basically find it all right here and again these are copyright free materials so you can literally share this on social media without getting in trouble of course you could heart it but it requires you to log in because i'll add it to your library it's also a login, but I mean like all these images, you don't really need an account to access this as you can simply just up arrow it and copy and paste on whatever URL, email, or social media platform you want to share this on with a certain caption. Or if you're just looking for some awesome wallpapers, you can always just go on the wallpaper tab and find something really cool here as well. This is one of them that I've been using right now. And it's not filled with ads. For number two, it's another productivity app. Have you ever decided or wondered, I should say, whenever you go online or you pick up a book or something, you like see the font that they're using, you say to yourself, 
man i wonder what type of font that is well definitely check out what the font that's the name of this application it's free to download so with this application once you download basically what this allows you to do is utilize the camera on your ipad as long as your ipad has a camera you should be able to do this and go over whatever font you want to scan take a picture and the app will work its magic select the text hit the little arrow to process the results and it will actually give you the list of fonts that the font that you scan could be so this allows you to identify fonts instead of googling it on google and spend hours trying to search for the font that you saw this application will basically do it all for you you have the name right here and now you could simply just go on google see if you could download it on your ipad or on your computer and install it on your device that way and since we're still covering the productivity side of things another great app that i always use i just never really recommended it on my past videos is google docs it's awesome it's amazing especially if you combo this with the magic keyboard whenever i'm working on the go typing up notes just creating paragraphs in general or something business letters and all that good stuff it's the application of choice that I like using and with the magic keyboard it makes this thing so much easier to carry around with instead of a large bulky laptop and then once I'm home I can just go on my desktop continue where I last left off as it was the application will sync to my Google account really easy and awesome and I can always open up Microsoft Word documents too in Google Docs so amazing app now enough with the work stuff because you know what they say all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so if you have either an xbox xbox one or even the series x ps4 or the ps5 you have to check out the native applications for these systems as these like as a fine example microsoft the controllers and even on the ps5 is fully compatible on the ipad which means you can connect to the controller to the ipad with bluetooth without any issues and the cool thing is your airpods or any other bluetooth headset that has an excellent microphone you could use it to wirelessly stream your console to your ipad it is actually really good when you're streaming the console from your broadband household which means you could be downstairs and you could casually just play your xbox while still talking to your friends in game chat or party chat it's, it literally is the xbox that's streaming the display to the ipad wirelessly and since the controller is paired up to the ipad there's literally no latency whatsoever for my personal experience that is it may vary depending on your wi-fi network my household is equipped with wi-fi 6 but it's not always perfect again even though my household is equipped with wi-fi 6 the further i go the worse the latency becomes so the closer i am to my router the better is the performance same can be said about the playstation 5 but still nonetheless this is an awesome experience definitely fiddle with it especially if you actually use these consoles daily for gaming now another application that helps a lot especially watching like videos and such like that on netflix or disney plus or other streaming platforms especially if it's restricted in your area is a vpn now the vpn of choice that i personally use is surfshark and if you can't tell already no this is not a sponsored video this is just a vpn that i personally have been using and recommend of course it offers all the other benefits that any other vpn provider can provide like norton and stuff like that in terms of privacy and a bunch of other safety stuff that allows you to be more anonymous when you're online saving protecting you from your isp and all that stuff but yeah personally i use surfshark reason being again it does all the other stuff that any vpn provider can provide but with surfshark you could link you could connect up to as many devices as you own you're not limited you can't just have five devices at once surfshark has an endless number so you can sign into all your devices and you'll be all f you'll be fine if they are all signed in at once which is great now i do have a special link in the video description which will save you some money so if you're interested in signing up you can always just click on that link but yeah i'm able to watch rick and morty on netflix here in the united states you can't do that so i'm actually speaking from my positive experience with this provider now going back to the productivity side of things if you want to learn cursive or just improve your penmanship skills in general check out righty practice 
this basically will allow you to improve your penmanship skills and not just writing but if you go down there actually is cursive writing there's everything from training to like ABC's EFG and all that good stuff and when you click on it you already see it I've done a few now I do not want to clear that and I already spent like a couple hours on using this app it's pretty cool it's a great way to learn cursive if you want to learn a new skill or something or just show off to your friends or maybe you have a kid and you want them to practice more this is an awesome like way to outline text and just build that muscle memory down so you could actually improve your penmanship and lastly i saved the most expensive one for last is luma fusion i'm surprised i haven't yet talked about this on this channel it's well known across the youtube industry as this is probably one of the best video editing software applications available on the ipad is better than final cut and from what i've been seeing it definitely is because you could do so much more than what you are able to do on final cut on the ipad as it literally gives you almost like the desktop version right here on your display so if you are an extreme video editor and you happen to forget your laptop or you just don't want to carry your laptop around whenever you're making videos on the go LumaFusion is the application you want to choose. Unfortunately, I didn't. My footage that I had that I created with LumaFusion got deleted. So this video will do. And there you have it. Links to all these apps, of course, are going to be in the video description down below. So they are literally a click away. So you can quickly download it and install it on your iPad. If you got some useful information out of this video, I'd greatly appreciate if you could actually leave the video a like. And not only that, get subscribed because I pretty much cover a lot of tech videos very similar to this. And if you're curious what kind of accessories I have on my iPad Pro, I'll be sure to link them in the video description down below. But for the full video of some of these accessories, you can go ahead and watch it right over here. And then the video right next to that one, that video is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.